Thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to be looking for Goliath grouper. I tried this last year but came up with nothing. So this time around I wasn't disappointed. I had my camera, I was filming straight ahead and I turned my head to the right and there was this massive grouper right next to me and I kind of felt like Pharaoh when his entire army got swallowed up by the Red Sea. It's just a daunting experience when you first see them. Of course the people that see them all the time are used to it but for me it was quite an experience. To give you an idea, the mouth of these things, they're like this. They will swallow your head if you let them. They've done it. Uh, they bit people. They don't have really big teeth, but they do have sharp teeth for holding their prey. But they just kind of open their mouth fast and suck in whatever fish they can get. So I was with a fun group of people. I hope you enjoy the video. Take a moment to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. This grouper came up from behind me and started swimming alongside me. When I turned my head to the right, there it was. I really was not expecting it. A little over 80 feet deep, 2,700 pounds of air, plenty for 30 to 40 minutes dive time. This dive master made things really fun. She had cat ears on her head and cats on her fins. She was even playing cat and mouse with this big grouper.
is a goat fish. Look for the appendages to drop down from the mouth and rustle through the sand for food. George found a sea urchin. The ancients claim that you can gain wisdom by touching your tongue to this creature. No thanks, I'm good. George is deploying a safety marker so that the boats can see us on the surface. He needs to be careful that he doesn't get tangled in the line as it ascends rapidly that could pull him to the surface at unsafe speed. <laughs> 